Look at the tips of your fingers. Those tiny, swirling patterns of ridges and valleys are your unique signature, a biological code that belongs to you and you alone. We use them to unlock our phones, to sign documents, and in the world of crime, they are the ultimate proof of identity. We see them as a profoundly human trait. But what if I told you that this incredible feature is not ours alone? What if deep in the world's forests, there are millions of other individuals, each with their own unique set of prints? Do monkeys have fingerprints? The answer will unlock a secret world of grip, sensitivity, and survival. Before we press on and examine the evidence, if you love uncovering the hidden secrets of the primate world, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Monkey Low, and remember to like and share this video. Your support helps us to continue bringing these amazing animal stories to light. Now, let's get a handle on the truth about monkey fingerprints. The simple and direct answer is a resounding yes. Monkeys, almost all of them, have fingerprints, and not just faint impressions, but complex, detailed patterns that are strikingly similar to our own. These patterns on their skin, known scientifically as dermatoglyphs, are formed from the same basic building blocks that create our fingerprints. They are composed of loops, whorls, and arches, the very same classifications that are used in human forensics. This is a profound connection, a piece of our shared evolutionary heritage, written right on our fingertips. So if the basic patterns are the same, how similar are they really? The answer is astonishing. Just like with humans, a monkey's fingerprints are completely unique to that individual. No two monkeys, not even identical twins, have ever been found to have the same set of prints. Each swirling ridge is a product of a random chaotic process of growth in the womb, a combination of its genes and the specific pressures it experienced during development. This means that a single fingerprint is a foolproof way to identify a single monkey. But while the microscopic patterns are incredibly similar, there are some big differences when you zoom out. The first difference is in the location of these prints. Humans have fingerprints on our fingers and palms. Monkeys have taken this to a whole new level. They have these gripping pads on their hands and feet, which makes sense for an animal that uses all four limbs for climbing. But some species have a secret fifth hand. South American monkeys with prehensile tails, a tail that can grip like a hand, also have a patch of ridged, fingerprint-like skin on the underside of their tail's tip. They have fingerprints on their tails, this gives them an extra incredibly secure anchor point as they move through the trees. So we have established that they exist and they are unique. But this leads us to the most important question of all. Why? Why did nature go to all the trouble of creating these intricate patterns? Was it just a random side effect of evolution? Or do these tiny ridges play a vital role in a monkey's life? The first and most obvious answer is one you have probably already guessed grip. Imagine a monkey in a sudden tropical downpour. The branches it needs to leap between are slick with water. A single slip could mean a fall of a hundred feet or more. In this life or death situation, its fingerprints become its high performance traction system. The tiny ridges on its skin dramatically increase the surface area of its hands and feet. But more importantly, they act like the tread on a car tire. They create channels that allow water to be squeezed away from the point of contact, ensuring a firm, non-slip grip even on a wet surface. But the role of grip is not just about safety in the rain. It is about a secure hold in every aspect of their lives. From a mother holding her clinging infant, to a monkey grasping a piece of fruit, to the powerful grip needed to swing from one branch to another. These fingerprints provide the essential friction needed to hold on tight. Without these ridges, their world of acrobatic movement would be impossible. So grip is the obvious answer. But what if I told you there is another, much more subtle and amazing reason for these patterns? What if a monkey's fingerprints could help it feel the world in high definition? For a long time, scientists thought that the ridges on our fingers actually reduced our sense of touch acting as a thick, protective layer. But recent research has discovered the exact opposite is true. 
the ridges act as amplifiers. Think of it like the needle of a record player. As a monkey runs its fingers over a surface, the ridges vibrate. These tiny vibrations are channeled down into a dense network of highly sensitive nerve endings deep in the skin. This system is so sensitive that it allows a monkey to detect incredibly subtle differences in texture. So when a monkey picks up a piece of fruit, it is not just feeling if it is round or soft. It is performing a complex textural analysis. It can feel if the skin is perfectly ripe or if it is too hard and not ready to eat. It might even be able to detect the tiny vibrations of an insect moving around inside the fruit. Its fingerprints give it a superpower of touch, a way to gather crucial information about a food source before it even takes a bite. This same sensitivity also helps it test the quality of a branch, feeling for the telltale vibrations that might indicate the wood is rotten and unsafe. So fingerprints provide grip and an enhanced sense of touch. They are truly a primate superpower, but are primates the only ones who have them? If we look at our closest relatives, the great apes, like chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans, we see fingerprints that are so much like our own, it is almost impossible to tell them apart. But what about outside the primate family? Prepare for one of the most mind-blowing facts in all of biology. There is another animal on Earth that has evolved fingerprints that are virtually identical to ours. And it is not a primate at all. It is the koala. This is a creature that is a marsupial, more closely related to a kangaroo than to a monkey. Yet on the tips of its fingers, it has loops, whorls, and arches that are so similar to human prints that even under a microscope, experts have trouble telling them apart. It has been said that at a crime scene, a koala's fingerprints could easily be mistaken for a human's. So how is this possible? This is a stunning example of something called convergent evolution. This is when two completely unrelated species independently evolve the same solution to a similar problem. Both primates and koalas need to be able to securely grip branches and finely manipulate the leaves they eat. So, through two completely separate evolutionary journeys, they both arrived at the exact same perfect solution, fingerprints. The fact that this complex trait evolved twice in two completely different branches of the mammal family tree is a powerful testament to just how useful fingerprints really are. On the flip side, this also explains why your dog or cat does not have them. Animals with paws have soft pads designed for shock absorption and traction on the ground while animals with hooves have a hard covering for durability. Their needs are different, so their evolutionary solutions are different. Knowing that monkeys have unique fingerprints is not just a cool piece of trivia, it has real-world applications. For conservationists studying monkeys in the wild, finding a clear handprint or footprint in the mud can be like finding a calling card. They can use the unique prints to identify and track specific individuals without ever having to capture, tag, or collar them. This is a non-invasive way to monitor their movements, their population size, and the health of the group. In sanctuaries and zoos, these prints can be used as a permanent record to identify animals for medical charts, which is especially useful for species where all the individuals look very similar to the human eye. So the next time you use your own fingerprint to unlock a device, take a moment to appreciate the deep and ancient story it tells. It is a story of a life spent in the trees, a story of gripping tight to survive, and a story of feeling the world with an incredible sensitivity. It is a story we share with our primate cousins all over the world. Fingerprints are not just a human feature. They are a primate masterpiece. If you enjoyed this look into the amazing world of primate anatomy, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe. It helps us continue growing and creating more exciting monkey content for you. Also, let us know in the comments what monkey topic you would love to see next from us. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.